सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दी अनादर लेक्चर सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस लेक्चर इज दैट गेट ड्राइवर मिस्ट्री सर वॉट इज द मिस्ट्री द रोल ऑफ द एक्टिव मिलर क्लैम सो दिस इज अनादर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फीचर विच इज देयर इन द गेट ड्राइवर सो यू शुड नो अबाउट वॉट इज द एक्टिव मिलर क्लैम वाई द नेम एक्टिव इज गिवन दैट यू शुड नो फर्स्ट देन यू शुड नो वॉट इज द मिलर क्लैम सर्किट why this miller clamp uh, feature is there inside the gate driver ic or why we are basically implement this feature e for protection of our device so you should know each and everything after watching this video if somebody ask you in interview about what is active miller clamp circuit you can easily draw this circuit and you can explain that sir because of this reason active miller clamp is very important for our uh, device protection what kind of protection sir mostly uh, over current protection shoot through protection okay how this will happen and all all thing we are going to discuss so firstly start with this lecture you can see these two figures on your screen right so uh, sir uh, these two figures are there so either what is a miller clamp so why the name active it is there you should know first so active meaning basically some active component is used not the passive component so what is the active component which is used here is sir either this uh, this switch okay so this switch is there so this switch is the active component so sir first point is clear to us that why the name active is given because of the active switch is used that is why for the protection purpose a switch is used for protection of one switch another switch is used that is why the name active is given now sir what is the miller clamp that we will see through this video but sir there are the two different figures available what is the meaning of this so one in one figure the uh, this uh, active switch is there outside and in one figure active switch is there inside so that are the two different types of the active miller clamps are there one is a external miller clamp where the uh, active switch for protection is outside and another is the internal mirror clamp where the active switch is there inside the gate driver ic okay sir so all these things are understood by us uh, so far so now now let's get started with this uh, background and you will understand each and everything now in detail so let's get started so first thing is why there is a need of the active miller clamp circuit so try to understand few things very important first okay now uh, there this is the our hub bridge or a pull bridge configuration two switches are connected okay and uh, basically with the pwm supply and with the gate driver the pulses are going to the my both the switches right now if you see the characteristics of if you see any device every device had some its own inductance and capacitance we know sir about the capacitances of one device like the cgd is there cgcs there and cds is there so uh, some we called as a input capacitance output capacitance and reverse recovery capacitance out of which the capacitance like the cgd so cgd is called as the miller capacitance okay we know sir cgd is called as a miller capacitance now what will happen sometime my upper switch is there so sometime the upper switch is on and because of the false turn on so why false turn on happen of the switch to sir because of the shoot through sometime what happened uh, basically false triggering will be there and because of this false triggering my lower switch is also going to active okay and that time both the switches are active and that time current will flow in all the path and because of this very high conduction losses will be there and if it is not protected properly then this device may get damaged so this is the case right so this is known now during the switching frequency what will happen sir during the switching frequency across the device there will be the large dv by dt as well as the di by dt will occur at each switching instant rate sir that we know that the dv by dt and di by dt two phenomena which will de 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 definitely there for any two switches okay for any switches this phenomena will happen now second thing i told you that there are the parasitic capacitances are there okay so what is written down here in reality the circuit and the switching device contain the parasitic capacitance and inductance that interact with the transient okay so sir if some transient are there okay inside the switch some sudden transient will come that time what will happen this parasitic capacitances will interact with the transient and result could be a destruction of the system specifically due to because of the dv by dt basically shoot through 
will be occur because of the false turn on on the lower side switch S2 in half bridge or full bridge configuration. Okay, so this switch S2 will be there and because of the false turn on, this may be turn on because of this high dB by dt. How sir high dB by dt will turn on any switch? So we know that any switch has some cutting voltage. Okay, any switch has some cutting voltage and if that cutting voltage will be uh, power away then this switch will be turned on right so because of this kappa parasitic capacitor which are we are not supplying any gate pulse from this particular side because of this parasitic capacitances where uh, if shoot through will happen current will get the path and current will come from this side i right and current will come and come through the cgd now if the current will go through the cgd it will charge right and because some potential will develop across this and because of this potential maybe it will take it as a, a pulse and it will turn on right so that is the case so we don't want all these things that is why we need something so that if the current will come from upper side we can provide some path to it not it will should not go through the cgd and then rg and uh, again into the my gate driver ic so that is why there is a need of basically something which will protect this uh, okay the current flowing through the rg gate resistance now so what is written down the rapid increase in the vds or dv by dt result into the current to flow through the para kappa parasitic capacitance okay sir this thing we know this is called as the miller capacitor okay located inside the mosfet okay so that is there inherently there in the mosfet now and it will take such path okay so what kind of path current will come from upper side okay and basically it will charge this capacitor cgd and current will flow to the rg and again uh, here in the our gate driver ic a miller current induced a voltage at the gate okay right depending on the gate resistance and the control gate resistance and the ratio of cgd and cgs if the voltage drop is larger than the threshold voltage then the device could turn on and cause the shoot through so same thing i have explained to you that because how basically uh, any device will turn on that thing i have explained to you in the previous slide and because of this very high power loss power dissipation will be there and sometime if both the shoot through will happen maybe my device may also get burn out okay so that is the case so what i need i don't need the current to flow here in this direction because rg gate resistance and ratio of cgd and cgs are very play very important role right so i need something to provide path to this particular current which will come from the top now that is why there is a need of active miller clamp circuit now you know the, why the term active is used right and now what is a miller clamp miller clamp meaning miller clamp meaning is a miller clamp uh, uh, switch okay so miller clamp meaning the switch it is a kind of the one active switch that is termed as a miller clamp why the term miller clamp because it will clamp the voltage and it will protect my device from the uh, if the, such a kind of the current will come right now uh, next thing is <coughs> so what is next so uh, just some theory is written down i will just read it for you the voltage transient of a power switch dv by dt interact with the parasitic miller capacitance cgd resulting into the current flowing through the gate and potentially causing a false turn on okay sir that is we have learned and the current path is like this now the solution for this is what basically we can increase the gate resistance value if i am going to increase my gate resistance value then maybe this phenomena of a turning on of this switch may be eliminated but higher the gate resistance higher the uh, basically losses and i don't as a power electrons engineer i don't want losses to be more so and basically rg silco switching losses increase so what is the alternate solution very cost effective solution to add one uh, to add one uh, active switch okay and divert the path of the current flow now the firstly the current path flow is like this if i am adding some switch just nearby my uh, device then the current path is like here so the miller clamp can redirect the current without affecting the switching frequency so that is the solution to protect my device to protect from false turn on and protection purpose i am going to use the an active miller clamp so what miller clamp will do it will redirect the current flow current flow path without upping the switching frequency now moving forward so 
what miller clamp will do so miller clamp is basically a low impedance switch okay it is a kind of the one low impedance switch which will redirect the current it will provide very minimum resistance path very low impedance and basically it will redirect the current induced by the dv by dt right the miller clamp keep the device in the off state either by connecting the mosfet to the gate to ground or a negative voltage rail so what is this mosfet which is there where the connections are it is with respect to the ground it is connected so whatever the current will come from the top it will go in a ground so that is why it will not now uh, that kind of that uh, will turn on this device so some of the main consideration for implementing the miller clamp is the location like where the this particular switch is uh, uh, there second is a pull down current capability now i told you in the first slide that the location about so either this particular miller clamp uh, uh, basically low impedance switch it is either you can place nearby your uh, main switch which is need to be protected or it can be there inside the gate driver ic so it is very important where you are going to keep your switch okay where you are going to keep your low impedance switch second thing is a pull down current capability like how much current this uh, switch will be uh, able to carry down okay so that is the another constraint thus the location determine the impedance and thus the effectiveness of the clamp important point is written down here is that the higher the impedance the lower the less effectivity so i if i am keeping the my uh, active low impedance switch nearby to the main switch then basically it has very uh, 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 less impedance and less impedance meaning basically it can carry the maximum current like you know that if my switch is uh, uh, away like it is there nearby uh, more uh, far away from the active switch then during this path the parasitics will be there if you are working on hardware parasitics will be involved like the inductance capacitance stray losses all these things are there now so this will come into the picture and that is also will be not effective that much so that is why it is very important where you will keep this particular low impedance switch pull down capability determines if the clamp is capable of redirecting enough of the current generated by cgd to prevent the false turn on okay so that thing we know sir so with this sir i have told you that there are internal and external mirror clamp circuit available so you can see here that first is basically connected nearby my device another is basically connected outside right connected not outside it is inside the gate driver so sometime uh, the gate driver which are you are going to buy this uh, miller clamp feature is inherently there and if not there and if you are working on some high power application that time you will protect your device by using a small a uh, low impedance uh, ca uh, switch outside you can keep it right so you can see here that i told you that if you are placing your uh, this miller clamp uh, away or it is inside the gate driver ic and it the gate driver ic is far away from the main switch then there will be uh, resistance and capacitance of the uh, basically circuit will come into the picture and this will be very less effective so it is very important that how you are going to use it okay so it is up to the you either you can use the uh, miller clamp uh, feature uh, inherently uh, there in the gate driver ic or you can connect it outside but you should keep in your mind that if you are using the gate driver ic it should be nearby your active switch then this uh, effect will be less uh, this uh, rp and lp effect will be less and it is uh, working uh, uh, fine for your circuit right so the same theory is written down here now the next thing is basically the location also i have told you about the internal miller clamp what is the internal miller clamp and basically the external miller clamp okay and another thing is internal miller clamp external miller clamp you know and one more important thing what is uh, how which one is better uh, internal or external miller clamp that is depend on totally depend on your application requirement so where i have that also i have told you that how you are going to keep your uh, circuit right and how you will minimize this effect so that will depend uh, you on your application right so this thing you know you can read it out this theory i hope so you understood so far so now what is the use of active miller clamp now if you see in a gate driver ic so this is the one gate driver ic where this clamp pin is there so this is a inherently 
one uh, active miller clamp a uh, feature is there in this ic okay every ic every gate driver ic don't have this feature okay because generally sometime we need this feature sometime we don't have sometime if it is there inside the gate driver ic that is also fine but sometime we will if it is not there then we will maybe use it or not use right so that is totally depend on us so you can see this basically ucc 5310m uh, gate driver ic so here the clamp feature clamp meaning the active miller clamp feature is already there now how the logic is so you can see that uh, this is the pin so one uh, basically this low impedance uh, uh, switch is there inside so all these things are there inside the ic so low impedance switch there inside then basically i have one my comparator which compare with some standard then logic generator and all these things are there based on that some output uh, it will be uh, giving and based on that the protection will be happen so this is how uh, actually in a very small uh, gate driver ic all these feature can be inbuilt okay so with this uh, i will conclude this lecture i hope so you understood what is the active miller clamp what is why the word active is there what is the miller clamp what is the meaning of the miller clamp circuit how it will protect from which kind of pro, uh, basically uh, things this uh, circuit will protect what is the internal miller clamp what is the external miller clamp all these things maybe you understood okay so thanks thanks for watching uh, this video in the next class we will see some more interesting things okay so thanks thanks for watching